let's understand the margins involved in buying and selling of options we must know that the buyer of an option has to pay the seller a small amount as premium whereas the seller of an option has to pay margin money to create this position in addition to this we have to maintain a minimum amount in the account to meet exchange requirements margin requirements are often measured as a percentage of the total value of the open positions let us understand the margin payments separately of a buyer and a seller of an option so if you are a buyer of an option we must pay only the premium for the option and not the full price of the contract the exchange transfers this premium to the broker of the option seller who in turn passes to its client coming to seller of an option we must know that buyer of an option always has a liability which is limited to the premium amount we had seen earlier that if the option is lapse the buyer of an option has a loss limited to the premium amount that is the maximum loss which he can incur whereas the seller of an option has a potential of unlimited loss therefore the seller of an option has to deposit a margin with the exchange as a security in case of a huge loss due to adverse movement in option price these margins these margins are levied on the contract value and the amount is a, uh, denoted in percentage terms which is dictated by the exchange normally these margins dip and this percentage value is highly dependent on the volatility of the price of the underlying asset and the option higher the volatility greater is the margin requirement let's understand the calculation of margin with the help of an example say seller of a call option of reliance strike price of 970 premium received by the seller is say rupees 10 we assume that the margin requirement set by the exchange is 20% on the contract value and the lot size of one reliance is 600 shares so the outstanding position for the call option seller would be 600 shares into the strike price which is 970 total comes to 582000 this is the maximum obligation of a call option seller margin requirement by the exchange is 20% so 20% on the outstanding position of 582000 makes a total margin requirement of 1 lakh 16400 lakh let us now talk about settlement of options whenever we sell or purchase any option we can either exit our position before the expiry date by taking an offset trade in the market or we can hold that position open till the maturity date until the option expires then the clearing house will settle this trade now this settlement can take either in two ways either in cash settlement either by cash settlement or physical settlement now by physical settlement we mean that options require actual delivery of the underlying asset whereas in cash settlement cash settled options do not require the actual delivery of the underlying instead the market value at the exercise date is compared to the strike price and the difference is paid to the holder be it profit or loss